with my Gabby apron. I hope you like it. We're gonna bake some semel muffins. So this time of the year, which is specifically tomorrow, or at least tomorrow when I'm filming this, the 16th of February, this year at least, we celebrate something in Sweden called Fettistoyen. And on that day, we eat a special pastry that is like a cream puff. It's called a semla. And many, many years ago, I ate this really delicious muffin version of the same pastry. So I figured I was gonna make one of those, or you know, a batch of those. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna make semel muffins. Let me show you what ingredients we're gonna use. And yeah, we're just gonna bake them as we go and you'll see the end result in the end. Make sure also to subscribe if you haven't already and leave a like and a comment. Okay, and otherwise, you know, I'll see you on stream and all that shit. By the way, okay, let's let's get into it. Let's do it. Okay, so in order to do this, we need sugar, baking powder. Do you call it baking powder or baking soda? I'm not sure. Anyway, you know the shit that makes them go bigger? Yeah, that stuff. We need flour. We need egg. I'm gonna put the recipe down below if you're unsure about anything. Um, we're gonna put butter, the vanilla powder. I think it's called vanilla powder. Muffin forms, things that you put the muffins in. Cardamom, because that's gonna be the flavor of like the actual muffin, so to say. Almond, crushed almond by the way. And this is like sliced almond, can you call it that? Uh, those are gonna go on top of the muffins. Really good, really delicious. Oh, and did I say milk? No, I didn't. Milk. We're also gonna have some cream inside and to fill them, that's gonna be part two. Like we're gonna, Carve a little hole into the muffin, then we're gonna fill it with vanilla custard because I love vanilla custard. Vanilla custard is life, guys. Okay, all right, let's get started. To start off, we wanna add sugar, two and a half deciliters. Let's do that. One. You know, I'm just gonna go with two instead of two and a half because sugar is not good for you. So, you know, just, just take it down a notch, you know. And then we're gonna add two eggs. Um, one egg, two eggs, all right. And then we're gonna use the zoom zoom. The zoom zoom. Okay, and we're gonna whisk it until, um, I don't know, for a while, until it's fluffy, I think. Let's whisk this. <laughs> Gotta make it fluffy, guys. Wanna make it fluffy. How fluffy is fluffy, guys? Two hours later. Is this fluffy? I don't know. I mean, I suppose it's still supposed to be like somewhat liquid, right? You know what? This is good. I decide that this is good. If it's not, then you know, crap. So it also said that we need to melt butter. So I put 100 grams of butter in here and we're gonna melt it. And then it's gonna go into the schmooch over there. So to this, we wanna add a bunch of things. Two teaspoons of vanilla powder. Sounds like a lot, but okay, let's go. Who doesn't like vanilla, you know? I love it. Boom, okay, check. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Isn't that a lot? I don't know, maybe not. One, two, that was a baking powder. Done, done. Three and a half deciliters of flour. I can do that. One, two, it's like a little bit of a tower on these, so let's do a smaller one. Three and a half, is that a half? Yeah, that's a half. Three and a half, done. One kryddmått kardemumma. Cardamom, it's called cardamom, right? This is cardamom. I like cardamom, so we're gonna take a little, you know. Actually, we're gonna take a little bit more. Actually, a little bit more. Maybe like that, yeah. Now, we want milk. One and a half deciliter, okay? Gotta shake it a little bit before, okay? And then we get one and a half. One and a half. Whee! Then we're just waiting for the butter. Is the butter done? Not really. The butter's like semi melted. You know what? Let's just mix this together and then we'll get the butter after that. Okay, it's mixed. Now we just need the butter. And the butter isn't melted. Actually, it's kind of like really melted right now. Haha, <laughs> timing. Look. Look. All right, so let's pour that in here. And now we're just gonna mix this. Okay, guys, I think we're done. Let me double check. Yeah, cool. 
actually, oh, I want to add this because this is not part of the recipe, but I want to add this because I feel like it'd be very tasty. I want to chug a bunch of chopped almond in here. Okay, so we got chopped almond. It was already chopped because I'm lazy. And I just want to chug it in here. Do we want another pack? Let's, let's mix this and see. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do the other package as well. I just want to, you know, get some crunchy almond in there because I like almond. All right, there we go. There we go. So now we're gonna put this in these. Okay, let's do it. Supposedly, this is supposed to be enough for 15 muffins. And because of my OCD, I had to put a 16th thingy on here. We'll, we'll see how far it lasts. I, I doubt that this will be for 15, but I don't know. How am I even gonna get this in here? I don't get it. Two thirds is it. You know what? We can just fill more later, right? I don't wanna get it on the, on the, on the, ooh. Outside on the outside on the middle thing Alaska. Can you start barking in the background? Oh That's way too much. Holy cow. Maybe we can rearrange some of the dough Shit. Two spills outside. Uh Oh more spills outside chat. It's not going great. Oh A lot of spill outside. This is going great guys great Fantastic. Well, you know almost so these are now going into the oven cute and they're gonna stay in there for 14 to 16 minutes. Wait, 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 shit, I forgot something. We gotta take them out again. <laughs> they were in for like one minute, and then I realized I wanted to put those almond things on top of them, so we have to do that now before it's too late. So, <laughs> what I wanted to add is this. It's basically a um, sliced almond. Can you say sliced? I wanted to put that on top of here to like add some crunch. It has a really nice texture, so. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna put them back in. Whoopsies. Okay. In the meantime, we're gonna make the vanilla custard. You need 50 grams of butter, at least for one batch. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. I love vanilla custard, so we'll see. We'll do one. If we need to, we'll make more, basically. But um, you want it to be room tempered, so I'm just gonna let it stand here for a while on top of the warm thingy and then we're gonna add the rest of the thing for the vanilla custard i need three egg yolks i really suck at this and i have no idea how this is gonna work but we have a bunch of extra eggs if we fill this let's you know try it and see how it goes um yeah no hello leave it this is basically an egg yolk and a little bit of egg white you know but okay okay okay, okay. <gasps> Mama! YOLO. This is like three egg yolks and a bit of egg white. <laughs> okay, I just want to give you a little in the middle sneak peek. Ooh, that's hot. Look, they look so good. You can see like the almond thin slices. They're just like, you know, mm, sticking in on top. I love this. Okay, this is gonna be good. Okay, so hopefully uh, the butter is like warm enough now. Uh, and we're just gonna add everything and like mix it together and so we got 50 grams of sugar we got three egg yolks that are going in whoop vanilla powder again alaska don't mind her Ugh, actually do mind her i'll be right back okay i'm back and the timer is done for the muffins let me actually check because i only put like the lower limit i think we're gonna give it one minute so in the meantime i'll just continue one herbal measurement or whatever that's called with vanilla powder. We want like half a deciliter or something. It says 75%. This is kind of 75 of sugar. Sugar. Now this, okay, it was wet. Then we want um, 2.5 deciliters of milk. One, two, three. We want to make it thicker. So we're gonna use this, I don't know what it's called. I call it my sienna. But who cares? So let's just go. And then we're just gonna, I think, mix it. So let's just do that. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what's going on here. Um, maybe the maybe the butter's too cold. I don't know, it's like, I don't know, water and there's like bunches of but You know what? I found another recipe that actually had instructions as well. This was supposed to do be done in a different order, but you know what? We're gonna YOLO. Hopefully this is gonna work anyway. We're gonna heat this on the stove. <laughs> oh dear. We're cool. It's okay. No problem. Ooh, ooh, ooh. On another note, I think the uh, muffins are done now, so we're gonna get them out. Fantastic, guys. Look at that. 
Would you look at that? Oh my god, look at this. They're perfect. They're exactly how I wanted them. However, I kind of feel like I wanted to make like the ones that are really, really big. I kind of want them all to be like this, you know? So I should have made more. Anyway, I am so happy with them. This is the vanilla custard. It's still very liquid. It's a bit thicker which is good, uh, but I think it needs to cool down in order to just get thicker, you know. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour it into a bowl, uh, put some plastic on it, put it in the free, uh, fridge so that it cools down for a while. Five minutes later. The vanilla custard is exactly the consistency I want it. Really, really thick. And what I do now is I take a knife. These are cool. They've been cooling off for a while. I cut off the lid so that I get like a little area here. That's where I'm gonna fill the vanilla custard. Then we're basically just gonna add some whipped cream. So when I cut around, be careful so you don't cut yourself, and cut around it so that you get the lid off. And voila. Now we're gonna take some vanilla custard and we're gonna Blob it in here. Normally you would use um, like an almond almond paste here, but I'm a big big fan of, of vanilla custard So I figured I'd just go with that. All right, and then you shove the lid back Actually, you don't I realize now you're supposed to have cream in between. You know what? We're gonna make two different versions. That's why this was all planned guys. It was all planned So this is what it's gonna look like without whipped cream cream is whipped you want to whip it pretty hard. So once you've done that, you want to get one of these, I don't, I don't know what they're called, spritzers maybe? What you want to do is remove the lid again with the cream or the vanilla custard on. And then you just spritz cream on there and whoop. Go with that cream. Whoop, whoop. Eh. Ta-da! This is the semel muffin. <laughs> I don't have an English word for it. Sorry, guys. Super yummy. I'm going to try it out. Super duper mega Swedish. I hope you like it. And happy 50s dog again. Whee!